Yo, what's going on, guys? Koi here. Today we're going to be talking about. Um, uh, I'm going to be doing a little series. Actually, it's going to be a little series of little events that we're going to be talking about, and these are the uh, reflections. Uh, I guess are the best way to put it. So these are these are things that are you know around the world technically, like the little red spots, and I'm just going to talk to you guys how I beat. Uh, the tank tops in City Z. So this is one that people uh, really, 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 really have problems with, which is this specific one, which is to defeat the brothers. Uh, and the reason why is because the the objective is to take five hits or less, and then the other objective is to kill them both within a succession of 10 seconds. Now, I have video for both of them. I mean, I have video for both of them, but I'm only going to be showing one which is the doing the killing of them without taking any damage because right now that one's actually bugged. So uh, we're going to talk about the first one, which is the first challenge. So the control, uh, we'll talk about the control when we actually go through the gameplay. But the control is actually that move where uh, Tank Top Black Hole grab, puts his hand out and he's coming after you. He will do this three times. He'll uh, If he misses you, he'll lunge at you for a second time and then lunge at you for a third time. So, what you do, all you need to do is just you just need to back up and make sure you don't get hit. Challenge number two in difficulty two is actually just to kill both tank top brothers at the exact same time. So, all you could do is if you have a manual lock on or automatic lock on, you can still switch your locks and make sure that you make sure that both characters have low HP uh, at the exact same time. All you have to do is kill one, then ultimate the other to finish them off. That's the easy one. Now, the hardest one that people have the hardest trouble with is to take less hits. And I'll explain my gameplay as much as I explained my original gameplay when I first did, um, what's that battle called? Hot Battle. So, let's go ahead and talk about it. So, we got the gameplay here, and let's go ahead and get into it. So, here I had no sound on because I was actually playing... <laughs> I was actually playing this with um, the, I was actually hardcore playing this with like music in the background and everything like that. So don't trip too bad whenever I actually start like, you know, not doing that. Okay. So at the beginning, I actually targeted Tank Top Tiger. Uh, with Tank Top Tiger at the beginning, I'm just going to go ahead and full screen this for you guys. So you guys can really see. Um, over here, as you can see, we went after Tank Top Tiger and Tank Top Black Hole has a few moves. Now, the stomp move is probably the most annoying because even if you parry it or dodge it, there's a chance that thing could hit you. Also, he right now, he's a bit of a brick wall. So you can't really go through him, but you can go through Tank Top Tiger. It's a weird niche thing. Tank Top Tiger has a few leap moves that he actually uses to actually leap at you, which is super, super easy to actually uh, go off of, honestly. So uh, freaking uh, give me one moment. Uh, I'm going to continue the thing right now. Let me just uh, pause. All right. So sorry about that. Um, so like I was saying, so over here, um, a tank top black hole will try to attack you with ranged based moves. The only thing you don't want to do is you don't want to try to parry uh, any of the multi attack moves. So if black hole is using the multi strike, uh, you know, multiple strikes, you don't want to hit that. If tank top uh, tiger is using the roar, you don't want to get hit by that. See, as you can see right here, I did just take out Tank Top Tiger. Um, and now Tank Top Black Hole is the easy part. As long as you just dodge most of his attacks, he won't be able to harm you at all. So as you can see, Stomp, dodged behind him. Stomp, dodged behind him. And I just pretty much kept weathering him down. Now, he will do this two times, three times at that. So the first time, he'll try to do the coma. So remember the first challenge? The coma is that first challenge. That's the coma effect. One, two, and then three. As you can see, dodging that is the easy part. As long as you dodge those two kicks from Tank Top Tiger, he'll sit back down. He won't bother you. So just do not get hit by those two kicks. Always remember those two kicks and time your dodges. Don't spam your dodges. If you spam your dodges, you won't be able to actually run away. As you can see, I just weathered him down a little bit more. We're just gonna move ahead a little bit as we gotta get into that second stage which is whenever he gets to 12. So whenever he gets to 12, as you can see, 
he gets mad again, and then now he has the giant AoE jump. Now that is a massive AoE slap, and then you also have this guy throwing weights at you. So you just want to keep running for your life in a circle and making sure that you don't get hit by these freaking weights. Uh, after you, he throws the weights, you're pretty much done with him, and you can just go back to focusing on Black on black Hole. So as you can see, Black Hole's pretty weak, and then after that, he will get mad one more time and try to do the coma move one more time. Uh, he'll do it right after this ultimate. As you can see, I ulted him before he went off, but you'll see that uh, Tank Top Tiger is still a little upset. Uh, a little bit of, there we go. See, as you can see, he goes for the dodge. That's it. But I found if you actually just, uh, if you ult him right when he's going to get mad, he actually stops his whole thing. So if you ult him before he goes into the coma state, then he won't go into the coma state, and Tank Top Tiger will just miss his two kicks. So after that, then you just pretty much finish him off. Now, killing them in less than three minutes is the easy part. Not getting hit once is the hard part. So you just want to make sure as long as you don't get hit, you're pretty much done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to start a playlist for the series, and I'm going to link it down below. So I'll see you guys later. Take it easy, and peace out.